Okay, this is exercise 6.1 from Murocs PHP and MySQL. It's a short and sweet exercise talking about working with echo statements to trace through your code. And we'll also look at the print R statement, which can also be helpful. So here we are at step one. I've got CHO6 exercise 1 up and running here on the right. And the code for that would be the index here on the left. And that's all they're asking for in step one. In step two, you want us to add some echo statements like those seen in 6.3 to trace execution of the code. So most of this is going to be inside the display results.php. The index.php really just prints out this form. So in the display results, we do a whole lot of different uh, calculations and uh, um, handling those inputs. I'm just going to add a couple echo statements in here to see what's going on. So we've got these three variables that were sent with the form. Let's go ahead and echo those out. We'll do that down here. We've got echo our investment, interest rate, and years. Okay. Echo investment. Echo interest underscore rate and echo years. Now when I just echo it like this, it's going to be uh, not very helpful because it's going to print it all in one line right next to each other. So we'll add some formatting around it in just a minute. Let me put in some data so we can see see this. Yearly interest rate will be 10%, number of years will be 5. Okay. So when I calculate, see it's printed it all out, but it printed it right next to each other. So I've got the 100%, 10 $100, 10% for five years, right next to each other. So we might want some more descriptive uh, items here. We'll echo investment is that. We'll also get uh, echo out a HTML BR so it prints on its own line. Interest rate, again with a BR, and years. Okay, save that. I'll reload on the right side. Yes, resubmit my form. And now it's a little more helpful because I can see what I submitted. Investment, interest rate, and years. Okay, and then we have a loop down here that we're using to calculate the future value. So I'll print out another item here. Uh, every time we go through the loop, I'm going to echo i is equal to i and future value is equal to future value. Again, I'll put the line break on there and save that. When I reload, we can see each time we go through the loop, we print out the, the value for i or our iteration and what the future value is at that time. Okay. calculation doesn't look right there, but uh, I didn't change that for this exercise, so I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, that's really all the exercise 6-1 is, and it is a little open-ended, so if you don't put the exact same echo statements in, then that's fine too. So I mentioned uh, print R is all, can also be helpful. Print R works a lot like echo, so I would just say print R. And the string that you want to print, when I reload that, the string looks just the same. Print R is a lot more helpful for other types of objects. Uh, we have, you know, the interest rate like this is just going to be a string, but if I have something like an array, or a database result set that I'd want to to look into. The printer is a lot more helpful for that. And let's see what happens if I give it an array. So I'll give it the post array. Normally we don't directly access the post array, but that's the only array I'm really using in this exercise. We don't have a database result set or anything. So just to give you an idea of what the difference is between echo and printer, 
we'll echo out those and print R on post. Okay, so now when I reload on the right side, you'll see this top one here is the print R. It tells me I have an array and it tells me all the items inside that array. So I have an investment of $100, interest rate of 10, and years of 5. If I just do the echo of the post, it tells me I have an array, but it doesn't tell me anything I have inside of that. So the the print R is a lot more helpful for, for an array. Okay, that's it for 6.1.